Hey guys, welcome back to Allcoin Freedom. Hope you're having a good evening. In this picture, we're looking at Chiba, Japan. Beautiful place. I never got there, but I had a friend who lived in Chiba, Japan many years ago, and I spent a lot of time in Osaka and Nagoya and Tokyo, of course. If you're from Japan, let me know what city you're from. I love Japan. Beautiful, beautiful country. Awesome people. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about that tweet from Justin and how he paid about the four and a half million to have the lunch with Warren Buffett, right? We know Twitter trolled him mercilessly. A lot of people, you know, some people, the announcements anyways, his, he's good at hype, right? We know that. A lot of people, you know, weren't too impressed with this tweet and what the news was, but some other people were very happy with what it could mean for blockchain overall. And they're starting to come around on this. So I'd like to know what you guys think about this. We're also going to talk about how, you know, in the last little while, TRX has been really heating up, you know, even though it seems like it may be cooling off. But with this news and what's happening, this might just be a temporary correction as a pullback from the news. And it could be an opportunity for traders to buy the dips because we know there's a lot of the analysts saying there's a big bullish breakout pattern happening and lining up. So let's get into it. So we know Justin revealed that he paid millions of dollars for a lunch date with investing legend Warren Buffett. And as expected, the crypto Twitter universe had lots to say. So the Tron blockchain and BitTorrent CEO, he confirmed this four and a half million bid late yesterday, the other day. It was a new record, actually, for the annual auction for dining exclusively with Buffett. Because I think last year's winner paid roughly, I read, about $3.3 million, something around that ballpark. And Sun pledged to sway Buffett, right? And he's a notorious Bitcoin skeptic basically against all cryptocurrency and Sun said he'd be will he would be inviting six industry leaders to join the lunch and support so that could be interesting to see who he brings there now the other thing is with this news about six hours after Sun announced this news Bitcoin ironically fell below 8,000 for the first time in a week and more than about 16 billion suddenly were drained from the crypto market in general so we know Buffett confirmed he still considered Bitcoin more of a gambling device than an investment, and he, as of last year, was labeling Bitcoin rat poison, okay? So something the cryptocurrency community is yet to forget, but we'll see what Justin can do at this lunch, see what comes out of it. We know BitTorrent, that crypto took a major hit too. It was down over 10%, but TRX, Tron, kind of remained steady, right? It just dropped 2%, so it's hanging in there. Didn't take too big of a drop. Now, the good news is TRX is up over 20% from last week's close, and the U.S. SEC has a little flexibility it's talking about, which should spur some innovation, and Tron should be set to benefit from that. Now, we know Justin, he's known for his aggressive marketing, right? And however, considering that he is behind one of the most liquid coins in TRX that supporters claim is a utility, his approach does get a lot of critics going. But on the other end, the SEC may be relaxing their rules, allowing for the sake of innovation. And it was noted that through the director of corporation finance, William Hyman, the U.S. SEC announced a leeway. He said projects that even pushed the agency's boundaries could in a flip turn from being a security to a utility. But there is a catch. It's only applicable for projects that can demonstrate use case. Only then will the agency issue a no-action letter, even if it is in progress. So overall, this is a relief for crypto projects fundraising via Tron or any other platform. But whether TRX remains a security within the U.S. only there, we're talking the U.S., that's still a sticky topic. But, you know, we still see the comments from Justin do affect the prices one way or another. And then we still have the centralization questions and the general fractured market where regulators find themselves in a dilemma. But balancing all this, the regulation, the sacri without sacrificing technology, and innovation. It's going to be tough for regulators to see what happens there. But it is good news. The SEC does seem to have some leeway. Now, because we are up over 20% week to date, it does seem a lot of people saying TRX bulls are in control. Yet analysts are looking at the charts. But TRX is kind of trading within a bullish breakout pattern. We do have this little dip. People say correction, right? Maybe it's a good time to buy in on that dip if you're stocking up on your TRX. But people, the analysts are saying the TRX looks like the bulls are in control. And we did see back over the weekend, right, this expansion did see prices spike to over four cents. So even so, it does appear that TRX, right, was heating up and it may cool off a little bit. Yesterday's like little drawdown, right, that seems like it might be a temporary correction. And a lot of people are saying it could be an opportunity for traders to buy these dips because they're seeing targets at four cents and later be basically six cents. So it could be a time to get in on the dip there. I'd like to know what you guys are doing. Are you stocking up on Tron? What are you doing with your TRX right now? And should sellers press, the, you know, press lower, forcing more liquidation? It's likely that maybe the analysts are saying TRX could fall back down around the 3.1, 3.2 cents before it retests these spikes, right? The price is springing back. So we'll see what happens in the next little while with this news, guys. And I'd like to know what you guys are doing with your TRX. Are you stocking up? Or are you sitting pretty with what you have right now? So it's definitely interesting times. We'll see what comes out of this lunch 
right with Buffett, see if that does have any kind of positive impact on the crypto sphere at all and changes Buffett's view. And, you know, if you get him out there, especially, you know, how revered he is in China as an investor, if you get him saying good things about Tron or blockchain in general, right, that could have a big impact on market. So that's it for this video, guys. But do let me know in the comments below what you're doing with your TRX. Are you sitting pretty? Are you stocking up on these dips? Where do you think the price is going in the short term? And if you're a long term viewer, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys here. And I hope you have a good night. And if you're new to crypto, I'm going to give you a little tip here that can help you save your cryptocurrency and all your investments for your family and for yourself for the future. And that's what we need to do at this time. Most important thing you can do right now, if you haven't done it, guys, and this will help you first and then help the old crypto, the whole crypto space in general. You'll be a big solution to that as well. Let's let's one person at a time. So in all these videos, one person at a time, I hope we always reach one person, at least one person. Get yourself an offline hardware wallet and secure your crypto, okay? Because you don't want to be another person who lost their crypto to all those hacks, the billions of dollars we've lost, the billions and billions. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazier in the future, guys, as crypto gets even more popular, right? There's going to be more hacks, more things going on, more people looking and searching for people's crypto. So just be smart. Get that hardware wallet. It's such, it's such an unbelievably good investment and a small price to pay if you're investing hundreds or thousands of dollars. You can secure it for the future because these prices of these projects today, guys, in a couple of years, you're not going to want to have lost those coins, okay, and not been able to capitalize on all that wealth you've built up over the years. I have some friends, like we said in other videos, who back in the day when it wasn't so easy to secure your crypto have lost crypto, okay, and when they see the prices of those coins today, it's just gut-wrenching. So don't, don't be another victim. And that's why this message is important, guys. And if you have family or friends that are new to crypto or anyone at work you're telling about crypto or you have some new crypto uh, family uh, enthusiasts there that are trying to get on the bandwagon with you about crypto and they're interested, try to educate them too about right off the bat. I always like to do that too. Is I've actually, some of my friends and family, you know, I've given the hardware wallets to them if I've ever helped them get into crypto just so they start off very safe right off the bat. And I personally, I like to use two hardware wallets. So some of you have been mentioning that you use two or three as well. Like, you know, I have one for long term a hold my coins in crypto I'm not going to touch for a while it's safe put away in a safe place nothing will ever happen to that and I keep a hardware wallet with me because I like to use that every day to make some you know trades and different things I want to do with that so you guys can do that too but just make sure your family or friends and you particularly are safe with your crypto guys and educate everybody you can because that'll help us when the whole crypto space is safer there's less stories about people losing crypto the outside people will feel more safer right investing in crypto and the market cap will go up for all of us and our prices will go up in our project, so it's a win-win. But just don't wait till it's too late, guys, because a lot of people, you know, I have friends too that think, oh, someday I'll, you know, someday I'll get on that. But, you know, you never know what day you're going to check out your exchange or your online wallets there on your computer and see nothing in them. So don't, don't wait until it's too late. Protect them. And you have to get them. A lot of people don't know, guys. You have to get your hardware wallets from the manufacturer. Don't, don't be another one of those victims. And you hear the horror stories of people trying to get them on eBay or other websites where they've been tampered with and you lose your crypto as soon as you use your offline hardware wallet. So only get them from the manufacturer. And if you don't know where, um, to make it really easy, we put a link in the description below. So you can just go check it out anyway, see, um, see what it's all about, and grab one of those hardware wallets for yourself and protect your crypto. It's definitely in this bearish market now, and just in general in any market, it's probably the best investment you can make because none of these prices matter in the future if you lose your crypto. Okay, So just get it safe for yourself so you can sleep good at night. All right, guys, if you could give the video a like, I always appreciate that. You guys are helping us out a lot with our videos and subscribe to the channel if you haven't so you don't miss any of our videos as they come out. You might find out in the next couple of days some projects we're talking about that you're interested in too or you might learn about one you want to check out. And also, it's a great way if you're subscribed, you can contact us and get in touch with any questions and we can stay in touch really easy that way. So that's a great thing too, guys. And I hope you have a great day, the rest of the day, wherever you are around the world. And let me know where you are too, because hopefully maybe I could send some messages out to some of you guys who are subscribed when we hit the road and we can meet up for some coffee or lunch sometime and talk crypto in your city. Okay, guys, take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.